in the previous video we talked about the various parts of human digestive system and now we will take all these parts one by one so the first thing that we are talking about is buccal cavity and in buccal cavity we'll talk about tongue and palate first so in human digestive system we are talking about buccal cavity that is the first area and in buccal cavity the palate and the tongue so let us again see how this or which structure is called palate and where and how the tongue is attached so if we draw our buccal cavity this is just to have an idea which area is buccal cavity so this chamber in which the air goes in that is from our nose or nostrils these are called the nostrils and this cavity or this area is known as the nasal chamber so when we breathe in the air enters through our nostrils so from here the air is going to enter and then the air comes out from here so there are two openings of this particular chamber one is the external opening that is nostril one is the inner one and these are paired openings so this inner opening is known as internal nares the area or the structure which separates the nasal chamber and the buccal cavity this region is our buccal cavity so we are talking about the roof part of this cavity that means if we touch our tongue to the top there is an area which is that structure is known as the palate now if you touch your tongue on the top now let us try do one thing suppose we put the tip of the tongue behind our front teeth front upper teeth and then roll the tongue on the surface of that upper structure you will find that the anterior part is slightly rough so here we find it is slightly rough and then it becomes very soft so this first part is known as the hard palate and the posterior part is known as the soft palate and palate also has taste buds and that is why when we say the food is very tasty we generally use the term that food is palatable so palate separates buccal cavity and nasal chamber or in other words we can say that palate makes the roof of buccal cavity anterior part is rough the posterior part is soft and at the back side we find a small drop like structure this drop like structure is going to bend backwards and close these openings whenever we are swallowing because we know that the air that we breathe in goes into trachea and the food that we swallow goes into esophagus so this anterior tube is our trachea and this is esophagus so the air that we breathe in is going to go into the trachea so air from here enters into the trachea and the food that we eat is going to enter from here and it is going to go here and we don't want that the food which we are swallowing goes into our nasal chamber so whenever we are swallowing this flap like structure bends backwards and it closes the internal nares this structure this drop like structure is known as uvula so palate is a separation between buccal cavity and nasal chamber the second structure that we want to talk about is the tongue so here is our tongue our tongue is attached on the back side on the lower part 
and it is free anteriorly. So, we can see the tip of our tongue which is free. So, if we draw the tongue, this is how the structure is going to be. So, tongue is a muscular structure. So, if we are talking about our tongue, tongue is muscular and our tongue is anteriorly free, free anteriorly. What are the main functions of our tongue? functions of tongue. The first and the most important is that it helps us in detection of taste. So, it has taste buds and we are able to detect four major types of tastes. Which are these four tastes that we are able to detect? That is sweet, salty, sour and bitter and there are regions where specially these tastes are detected. So, let us mark these areas. Now, the posterior part of the tongue, we are talking about this area, this helps in detection of the bitter taste. The tip part helps us in detection of the sweet taste and the sides that means this area and here they are little overlapping areas. So, these areas they help in detection of salty and sour taste, salty and sour and there are taste buds which help us in detection of the taste. So, four major tastes are there. Some people say that I like spicy food. Now, spicy is not a taste. Spicy is a feeling. Whenever we eat spicy food, we actually take some chemical which is present in chilies. This chemical creates a burning sensation on our tongue. More the burning sensation, more spicy feeling we get. So, spicy is not a taste more burning and that is why after eating some spicy food, suppose you take hot tea or coffee, then your tongue feels as if you have poured something hot on a burning surface. That is because it was al already burning because of the chemical and now you are putting or adding a hot tea or coffee on that surface. So, there is double burning sensation. So, this is the first function of our tongue. The second is, it helps in mixing of our food that we chew with saliva. Mixing of food with saliva. Saliva contains digestive enzyme. We will talk about saliva when we come to salivary glands. So, this is second function. The third function is, it helps us in speech. You try to uh, find out where this tongue goes when we speak. Try to observe the movement of your tongue. When we say tongue, the tongue touches the palate, tongue touches a part of our teeth and that is how a proper sound is produced. That means the next function is that it helps in speech. It helps us speak and one more function. It also helps us in swallowing of food. So, the fourth function is it helps in swallowing of food. You can do this activity Suppose we hold the tip of our tongue and try to swallow something. We won't be able to do it. If we hold the tip of our tongue and try to speak, our speech is not going to be clear. We won't be able to say the words properly. And there is one more function which we don't realize unless and until we get a tiny ulcer on the tip of our tongue. 
what happens when we get a tiny ulcer on the tip of the tongue this tip keeps hitting some part of our jaw some part of our teeth and it hurts that's when we realize that the tongue is touching so many parts in our buccal cavity because that time it hurts but our tongue is continuously moving even when we are not talking even we are just listening or you know you are uh, just thinking about something the tongue is continuously moving so what is it doing when it is continuously moving it is cleaning our teeth so it acts like a natural toothbrush acts as natural toothbrush that means it helps in cleaning of our teeth so the main or the primary function of our tongue is taste it is a muscular structure and apart from taste it also helps in many things like mixing of food with the saliva helps us in speaking properly helps in swallowing of food and when it is not doing anything it is cleaning our teeth so these are two parts of buccal cavity one is the palate and palate separates buccal cavity and the nasal chamber so that the food and the air they remain separated the last part of the palate is a hanging structure you must have seen this hanging structure whenever you watch cartoons you know many a times they show cartoons screaming and on the screen they show their open mouth and there is a small drop like structure moving that is this structure so whenever we are swallowing this flap closes our internal layers so that the food does not enter into our nasal chamber and the muscular tongue so these are two parts which are in our buccal cavity that we have discussed now in the next part we will talk about teeth and structure of tooth